All right, guys, today we're doing uh, a different kind of list. We're doing a five good guys or five heroes that went bad or batshit insane for some of these. And I really wanted to just kind of take a look at all these superheroes. There's so many that do go bad or, or do horrible things. And these are the five that really stuck with me as almost tragic or just downright disgusting and what they do in the end. So let's get to it. The top five superheroes or just heroes in general that went evil or bad or batshit insane. Starting off the list is going to be Red Hood. I mean, sure, Red Hood eventually goes to more of the anti-hero, and nowadays he's kind of just the hero, but it wasn't always like this. When Jason Todd came back after getting killed, he had this kind of new sense of justice. Uh, but was he evil? I mean, he was still killing villains or bad guys, and the thing was that he was just shooting them in the head instead of just knocking them out. Maybe this wouldn't really land on most people's list because he does do good again, but the initial betrayal to Batman, who really raised him and he has always been a stubborn kid and always kind of like an asshole and then he comes back and then he just blames everything on Batman like he's still a child uh, in sure Batman has some things to blame of course but all of it no and that's what makes him compelling as a, a good guy or a good guy going and falling off the wagon and being evil even though he does come back to good he's still in my opinion just because of the betrayal to Bruce and how it affected the Bat family actually landed and still has effects till to this day Coming at number four is definitely Superboy Prime. Well, this is a crazy man indeed, or should I say boy? Basically, in a universe without superheroes, Superboy, before uh, everything, has just been reading about characters like Superman and Green Lantern and their heroic Golden Age days, so he barely wanted to be one. And one day, he's giving the powers, and his powers awaken, and he becomes Superboy, and then it's all awesome, right? But then he sees all the hate and the horrible events that have occurred in the u regular universe for DC. All the destruction and death. Superman's death. Batman's OMAC uh, eye thing. Uh, all these things are happening. All these devastations that drive the boy a bit fucking nuts. So his plan then is to murder everyone because everybody else is a murderer. It it's kind of an insane theory. But it's kind of insanity at its finest and it, he just goes and just kills a ton of people and he really just has this evil reign that is not only horrifying but sad because of his mental uh, stability just cracking and becoming this evil n almost unstoppable force of fucking chaos. Coming at number three is the Plutonian. Well, the story starts off right away with this hero being a villain. It's through the flashbacks throughout the whole story to see how good he was, how many people he saved throughout the years. However, it's the people's shock and disbelief throughout the entire next 30 issues of seeing this man slaughter close friends, destroy entire countries, and hurt millions just to prove a point. Without any remorse, it seems that this man turns into a bloodthirsty machine. Sure, the series ends, in my opinion, in a terrible dumb way but up until then I thought the series remained pretty interesting even though it had some ups and downs it had some great um, volumes in between and issues but it was just the descent of a godlike hero falling into the darkness is both fascinating and scary as shit Coming at number two is Ultimate Reed Richards, the fall of one of the greatest in the universe. In the Ultimate Universe, the Fantastic Four were similar to the 616 counterpart. Besides being a bit younger and slightly more arrogant, they still stuck together as a family team type book. However, after the events of Ultimatum, which by the way is a terrible fucking event, things changed for the Fantastic Four. Sure, Doom getting his head crushed by the thing was dumb, but it brought upon us the maker. Reed goes bad. I mean, becomes the maker and decides to use his genius level IQ to wreck havoc to the world and honestly bring us one of the most entertaining ultimate runs ever and if you didn't know what ultimates are ultimates are basically the Avengers of the ultimate universe I know they did they had a little pun on words there anyway it just showed off how scary it could be for a good guy who has always helped people and always carry to go just pure fucking evil and still have all that genius mindset he basically outsmarted everybody in that universe and nearly took it down
And coming in as number one is Omni-Man. It's no secret that Invincible is definitely my top five comics of all time. Its art is a huge inspiration for my own comic Sparks, and the character development is one of the best in the superhero genre in my opinion, especially with Mark. But its betrayal, the issue that changed for me was Omni-Man betraying his son, or actually the whole world. For the universe that's been set up this way, it was just a huge twist, a betrayal. Not only that, but it comes as a shock because it hurts not only us, but Mark himself. Mark confronts his own father who he finds out has turned from hero to villain. And sure, that was his mission, Omni-Man's, to actually wreck havoc and destroy the Earth or take it over. But you kind of fall deeper into it because you know that's not his mindset after he's lived here so long, no matter how fucking vicious he is. But then when Mark tries to talk sense into his own father, he takes a beating and is nearly killed by his own father. This shock and reveal is what made me an Invincible fan for all these years, and it's nice to see Omni-Man come good again, but for those freaking issues, it was horrifying to watch one of the greatest heroes of that universe just slaughter all his friends and nearly kill his son. So yeah, Omni-Man going from good to evil is downright scary and petrifying. So yeah, that's my top five people who have went from good to evil. Now sure, there's a lot of characters out there who went good, evil, and then back to good or just stayed evil. But these five really just stuck with me as they had effects on other people too. And that's what, to me, makes a good hero descent into villainy. Um, but I would love to see your list of top five good guys go bad uh, or then maybe turn good again. But if they went bad for a little while, let me see those below. I hope you enjoyed and everybody have a wonderful day.